Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network. And today we're going to talk about special teams because special teams have been so important for Lafayette, both on a positive side and a negative side. And against the Colgate Raiders up in Hamilton, you're going to have to be good by placing them in long distance situations where their offense is going to have to work the entire field. And for Lafayette, it has to be able to set up points for the Leopards. There are certain things we're going to talk a little bit more today about the mentality of special teams and the culture of what it takes a guy like Mark Noodleberg, one of the best special teams coordinators in the league to get over to a lot of kids. Remember, a lot of these kids came to Lafayette as the best players on the team. They weren't used to playing a lot of special teams, running down on kickoffs, returning punts, those type of things. So you have to teach them from scratch, but it takes a commitment, a big commitment from John Garrett at the top to put enough time in the beginning of practice, the middle of practice, and maybe the end of practice, and give Coach Nodelberg a lot of time to work on these things. So the culture starts with the commitment. Organization, number two, you have to be able to buy in, not just your special teams coach, but all of your coaches. So if you talk about kickoff, uh, kickoff return, right now Lafayette has been doing a great job of walling out some of the guys that are involved in contain, whether that's one and two, bringing the center or the tackle down to take them out, and then the back two guys inside are doing a nice job of, say, double teaming three and creating a seam. And this last weekend you saw a guy like J.J. Younger has great speed. So that takes a lot of organization and more than just one coach. Recognition, you have to be able to recognize not only your, your kickoff returner as the guy who goes 94 yards, but these guys up front who are spending all of that time working on, say, kickoff return. On the punt team, same thing. This is Jerry Poe. Jerry Poe's running down a starter on your defense, running down to, to uh, be a gunner. Same thing on the outside. You have to have guys that are going to fan out and create a box or a web to keep that punt returner inside the box. And especially a guy like this, Jake Bissell, one of the best punt returners. If you look at the special teams right now, Lafayette is number one in kickoff returns, number two in kickoff coverage, number three in punts. So special teams are keeping Lafayette in a lot of games right now. And the last thing is execution. And we're getting very good execution on many of these teams with a lot of these athletes that are learning special teams for the first time. Extra point and field goal must get better. Two blocks and one missed extra point cannot happen against a team like Colgate. If you take all of these things and you put them together, okay, C-O-R-E, that is the core of your team and special teams culture by John Garrett and Mark Nudelberg has been excellent. Need to have good special teams, force Colgate to work the entire field. Lafayette up at Hamilton this Saturday.